speaking of Hollywood, here's a question. Which country in the world gets the highest number of citizenship requests? Which country attracts the maximum number of immigrants? The United States of America, as of 2020, according to a report, it had more than 50 million foreign-born foreign, foreign -born residents, 50 million. The U.S. has long been seen as the land of promise, the land of opportunity. Now, what if we told you that Americans themselves may be losing faith in that promise? A new report has come out with some very interesting data. It's from a group of citizenship brokers. It says rich Americans are working on a plan B. They're trying to acquire a second passport. And the number of such people has gone up by more than 300% in the last three years. 300%. A second passport is a new gold in America. But why do people want it? To go to safer countries, they say. And these are Americans. America's political climate has seen a lot of uncertainty in the last few years. From Obama to Trump to Biden, it's a hard gear shift. The society is polarized, the rules change drastically, and these political swings are driving people out. That's the number one reason they give. This is what the report says. Wealthy Americans have developed a deep-rooted fear about the future of their society. They would rather live abroad than deal with the state of affairs. Some want to avoid changing tax rules. Others are worried about growing hate crimes in the U.S. And yet others fear an all-out civil war. The second reason they give is the pandemic. The pandemic showed Americans how vulnerable they can be. During the global lockdown in 2020, many of them could not enter Europe. No matter how much money they offered, they could not bend the rules. So now they want a second passport, a plan B, like I said, for their families in case of another global health crisis. Tells you how even superpowers lose their appeal. The rich and mighty don't want to put all their eggs in the American basket anymore. They want other options, safer options, they say. So how do they get these second passports? Through CIPs, that Citizenship by Investment Program, CIP. How do they work? Through money. If you have the money, you can invest in a country. In return, the country will give you citizenship. What kind of investments are we talking about? Real estate, an enterprise project, or donations to the country's national fund. And which countries offer such programs? How much do they charge? The figure varies and the list is long. Dominica charges $100,000 in exchange for citizenship. Antigua and Barbuda, $130,000. Grenada, $150,000. Same for St. Kitts and Nevis. Montenegro takes $294,000. So does Portugal. And Bulgaria takes a colossal $588,000. And these are just the starting prices. The richer you are, the more you'll have to lose in your purse strings. Next question, how many Americans are opting for such programs? A lot of them. The report says that in the last three years, more than a more than 300% spike has been seen in such applications, more than 300%. Which countries were these applications for? Mostly Portugal, the land of oranges. This report says Portugal's five-year residence permit is the most in-demand program among Americans. It requires an investment of $294,000. In return, it offers an average stay of seven days a year in Portugal, along with visa-free travel to 26 countries in the EU. Once the permit expires, you're eligible for a permanent citizenship process. In fact, citizenship brokers say that in the coming years, Portugal could be the next California. A lot of American wealth and talent is going to this country. Interesting paradox. The USA, which is a country which takes pride in its quality of life, the land of opportunity, the melting pot of cultures with a large number of people from across the world still trying to go to the US. The fact is that Americans themselves are looking to leave. And that says something about where the country is heading. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.